If I'm in motion, the force is unbalanced. You're never too young to start understanding yourself and the world around you. STEM lends itself to that. It's important for kids to experience nature and to touch worms because if children at a young age get this kind of experience, they're not going to be afraid. We want them to see that nature is a friend. STEM embodies trying to understand how something works, why it works, and if you understand the hows and the whys, then you usually figure out the solutions to what the problem is. To see something in the world that maybe isn't the way you would want it to be and say, I can do something about that. Through using STEM, they can learn life skills. Here's smoker mm -hmm. issues. Such as problem solving or asking the right questions. Problems are new every day, so they've got to be able to learn how to figure out and how to solve new problems. STEM allows us to fail. Learn from your mistakes, you know. A lot of these kids, it takes the pressure off of them from always having to do things right. That way they relax more and they understand more. They do retain more because it's okay. When students work together and are problem solving, that helps them in their lives. They're able to challenge themselves in other classes. So we're developing those problem solving and critical thinking and teamwork skills. It didn't take long before we saw results. And not only academic achievement, paper test scores results, we saw the kids had reached a new level of engagement, were excited, couldn't wait to do more. Trying to empower kids through authentic situations and problem solving to really believe in themselves as future scientists and technology experts and engineers and mathematicians and to know that they can have a career in it. The STEM workforce should look like what our communities are. It should reflect who's in our community. And it's encouraging everyone to think about science in a way that helps everyone. I am very passionate about instilling a love of STEM in everyone, um, especially at a young age, letting them know they can do whatever they want. The hope is that this next generation that's rising up is going to be really innovative and move us in the right direction. So that's what drives me is engaging students in these topics and engaging teachers in these topics too so that they can then empower their students.